Hello everyone, and welcome to the Cotswold Wine School's Tuesday Tip. Let's take a minute to talk about old wines. You know, that dusty bottle, or bottles, you've been keeping under the stairs for way too long. Let's open one together. But first, a note on aging wines. Not all wines get better with age. Most of the wines produced nowadays are made to be drunk young, within one to three years of bottling. White wines especially are not really suited to aging. Sauvignon Blanc, for example, is made in a fresh and youthful style and really should be consumed within a year of being bottled. Also, as we've discussed before, non-vintage champagne, you know, the NV on the bottle, is definitely not meant to hang about for years on end. So if you've got one saved for a special occasion, why not pop it open on a Tuesday? Today we've got a 1994 Urbina Gran Reserva Rioja from Spain. First, we've stood the bottle upright for the past two hours to allow for any sediment to settle to the bottom. Next, we check the outside of the cork to make sure it's still intact and there's no evidence of wine spilt out. Now the tricky part, pulling the cork. Be sure to take your time doing this as old corks are known for breaking apart. Now, smell that cork. Does it still smell of wine and not wet cardboard or mold? Well, that's good. It's best with old wines, especially old port, to use a sieve of sorts to help catch any sediment that might have accumulated over the years. We're using an aerator with a strainer to help decant. A general rule of thumb is to decant a bottle of red wine for around an hour for every 10 years of age, but of course, everyone is different. Decanting a bottle of wine, white or red, can help the wine to fully show its true character. Imagine being stuck in a cramped space for hours or years on end. Decanting a wine is just like allowing it to stretch out its arms and legs. So long as your wines retained its flavors and aromas, you'll most likely note the color first. Red wines tend to lose their color with age and turn garnet or brick over time. Conversely, white wines will gain color with age, turning golden and then tawny in color. This wine has also gained some serious tertiary flavors of raisins and cloves and mushrooms. Tertiary flavors are those that the wine will develop with age. But remember, not all wines will age well, and it's best to do your research before laying one down. But if you do, be sure to store your wine on its side to keep the cork from drying out. Keep your wine away from light, heat, and vibrations. So, next to the washing machine, on the radiator, in the sun, is probably a bad idea. As this could literally cook your wine and it will lose all fruity flavors and become a lost cause. We hope you found this information useful. Thanks for joining us today and we'll see you next time.